Hey, what's going on guys? This is Reckles with One to Buy Gold, and I am pretty pumped right now. I went to bed last night, and I looted 180k, and then I woke up, and I had another 110k sitting for me in my mailbox. So, things are nuts right now, Legion's crazy, and I want to show you how to make the same amount of gold. So, let's do this guide. All right, so there are four steps if you want to make, you know, 100K a day per tune, if you want to use kind of a clickbait summary of this. But uh, they're, they're pretty easy, pretty basic, and they all fall under search craft post every day. But two quick disclaimers. Uh, first, I haven't really been using Trade Skill Master, or at least the automation parts of Trade Skill Master, because I'm really trying to go in manually and kind of get a feel of the new market. A lot of the crafting stuff is different, um, so I just, I want to get my hands dirty at first so I can then make new operations as time goes on. Number two, I'm only using one profession, or one, one tune. So I only have a gathering profession and a crafting profession. I want to be relatable to you guys and I don't want to burn myself out with the new expansion right away. But let's get into the steps. All right, number one, as you're running around doing your world quests and, and doing your dungeons with friends and just doing your farming, you're gonna be getting a lot of greens and crafted materials and just random stuff that you, you can't really use. Put it up on the auction house. Warlords of Drainer kind of got us in the mindset of like, oh great, a green, I'm gonna vendor it. Stop doing that. Get out of the raw gold farming mindset as fast as you can. I'm selling 10 to 20 of these a day for 250 gold each. That's good money. Number two, gathering professions. Uh, you wanna farm up enough for your auction house's need, but you also wanna farm up enough for your crafting professions and your obliterum crafting. I did a video a while back about how much you should farm, uh, aptly titled, How Much Should I Farm? Um, and in there, the only thing I'm gonna change from that is rather than 33% of the WoW auction amount that it gives, uh, change that to 100%, uh, just until the auction house kinda dies down a little bit. You can find that video here, and I actually like that one. I, I recommend you share that with all your friends. Number three is crafting professions. Uh, in a nutshell, craft one of everything. So. Uh, craft one of all the 815 gear you can. I know prices have tanked on this stuff, like some of it's only selling for 1500 gold rather than 5000 gold. Prices are gonna keep falling, they do that, it was new and exciting and OP right off the bat. Pretty soon raids are gonna come out and none of this gear is gonna be selling for, for more than 100 to 300 gold, so sell it now. If prices are tanking, that sucks keep going. Craft two to three of bracers rather than just one to two because braces are bracers are flying off the shelves. Now the leveling gear is also still selling right now so uh, just as an example of what I recommend for this one let's take the warhide gloves. They, they cost uh, 12 leather to craft. Um, let's say you craft 10 of them until you finally get the the epic upgrade of it. Put one of the purples up on the auction house and one of the blues up on the auction house and then save the other eight for your obliterum farming, which sneak peek, that's number four. All right, number four, obliterum farming. As you progress your storyline, you're gonna get the obliterum forge. You have to go down into the underbelly and do a really annoying quest down there. This is a huge money maker. I've been selling 10 obliterum per day, pretty much, for 10 to 12K each. If you don't have very many Blood of Sargeras, uh, you can just use the leveling gear to create a Obliterum. It takes about 400 to 500 of your crafting material to make to make one Obliterum. So uh, the Warhide Gloves we talked about, it takes 12 uh, leather to craft one of those. You need to make 40 to, to get one Obliterum. You can also use the 815 gear if you have a spare Blood of Sargeras. It only takes four to five crafts uh, to get one Obliterum there. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Craft 10 Obliterum and keep those up on the auction house at all time. Keep one of each blue leveling gear up on the auction house at all times. Keep one of each purple leveling gear up on the auction house at all times and keep one of all the 815 gear up on the auction house and two of the bracers up at all times and you will be set. All right, uh, that's it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. 
Hope you all have a wonderful day in Legion. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends. And please, if you liked it, give it a like. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.